what's up my soul squad and happy holidays to you and your family today video you saw that amazing picture of that cake well that is a eggnog cake and yes this is gonna be great for what christmas i didn't really say thanksgiving <laughs> but this is gonna be great great for christmas i think you and your family is gonna love it um the the uh, recipe is gonna be in the description below y'all this is my eggnog cake done my way in my kitchen by who me so we'll see. Are you guys ready? Let's go bake an eggnog pound. Well, not a cake. Egg, let's call it this. An eggnog pound cake. That's what she doing. <music> Again, everything will be in the description below, but excuse me, this is what you're going to need for your dry ingredients. You're going to need either cake flour or all purpose flour. I opt out, I, I love cake flour, it's always, mm, it's already sifted. Um, you're going to need some baking powder. You're going to need some cake flour or all-purpose flour, which is going to be three cups of flour. You're going to need some baking powder, some salt, some cinnamon, some nutmeg. That is all of and sugar. I guess sugar is kind of the wet ingredients. I'm not know. And sugar. Um, so your dry ingredient is going to be the flour, baking powder, salt nutmeg cinnamon your wet ingredients are going to be five eggs your eggnog your vanilla your butter and your three cups of sugar we're building a pound cake here and some cream cheese for the frosting and powdered sugar so these are all the ingredients you're going to need again but we're going to show you how to put it i'm going to show you how to put it together and it's going to be in the description below i'm setting up we're going to get started okay guys we're going to start with a typical pound cake recipe which is three sticks of butter for this particular cake. You can use your hand mix mixer or whatever type of uh, mixer you have. I'm going to start this on two. And I'm using a whip. Because whip to me seems to make it light and fluffy. And you want to get it light and fluffy. So to this, is a pound cake. Three cups of sugar. And that's one. Two. And we're going to whip this for like 8 to 10 minutes until it becomes light and fluffy and not gritty. And that's three. This is my three cups of sugar for my pound cake. And I'm going to whip it on a high. Just like that. And remember to have your um, spatula ready because in between the whipping, you are going to cut it off. And you're going to do what? We're going to push down these sides so that we can get everything incorporated we want this to be light fluffy and airy and grit free and just wipe it against your own whisk like this yeah and guys we are making an eggnog pound cake and now this um i'm gonna add another extract in here i'm gonna add a little bit of rum and vanilla extract to this mixture okay we're gonna let this do what it need to do for eight to ten minutes Okay, guys, we're going to stop this before we put the eggs in because I want you to see the texture, how it's changed. Look how fluffy and white that is. This is how you want your main base, which is the butter and your sugar. You want it airy and fluffy and white. You don't want to overmix it. And it's not even gritty. Okay. Then get that in there. And wipe my hands off. Okay. We're going to take it back up on high. And now we're about to incorporate our eggs. I use five eggs. Some people use six. Or two. I use five eggs. I got them, some, I got them three cracked. And I'm going to try to go with one at a time. Because sometimes two escape. I let it mix for a second. I got my second egg. Hey, 
egg number three. And with this two, we're gonna push down those sides. Egg number four. Y'all, this is not if you are on a diet, it's the holidays. Egg number five. A pound cake is rich in flavor and sweetness. And it's just what it is. I mean, eat it once you cut it. Then cut, cut that one piece into a half a piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it real quick. And I'm just gonna do what? I'm gonna scrape down these sides. This pound cake is gonna be so nice and fluffy. I should got my bigger um spatula, but I grabbed what I saw. Okay. And we're gonna start it back up again. Now to this, I am gonna add my flavoring. And it's gonna be a teaspoon. gonna be a teaspoon guys so it's gonna be a teaspoon of pure vanilla and a teaspoon of rum so this is my rum Ooh. <laughs> did I go in there with a teaspoon of rum this rum is really strong and I love vanilla when I don't have a Madagascar, I make sure I use pure vanilla. And that's what I got right here. And I'm using two. Oh, you can smell that rum. Teaspoons of vanilla. Now I'm going to cut this down. What I have in this bowl is my nutmeg which I use one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, I have my half a teaspoon of salt, my two teaspoons of baking powder, and my three cups of cake flour that I whisk all together. And we're gonna alternate the dry and the wet. The dry and the wet, using some at a time. Let me get the equipment that I need. Now, Soul Squad, you know when I'm, when I'm cooking, I eyeball everything. But when I'm baking, I do not. Uh, you got to be point on with these measurements and stuff. So I'm just using my measuring cup going in. And guys, everything that I'm using from my eggs to everything is at room temperature. And I'm using a cup and a half of eggnog. It doesn't matter what type of eggnog. You just want to get that eggnog flavor into this. I'm going in with some more dry ingredients. This is my flour mixture and cinnamon and a nutmeg. This is one cup of eggnog I used already. You always want to end with the dry. So I'm going to throw in my other half a cup of eggnog just on top of that. Just to get it in there. Because I'm about to end it with the rest of this what? dry ingredients and I'm gonna let us turn it up and I don't want to over mix it so I'm going to mix it to a certain point and then I would use I'm gonna go find a larger spatula and then I will take the rest from scrape the bottom of this glass um bowl and put it all together I use an angel food pan I used to sell pound cakes um and I always use an angel food pan on my pound cakes just because they allow you to get most of all your all your mixture, all your pound cake mixture into this pan without overflowing. So when we come back, guys, I'm gonna be scraping it down. I use pan to spray my pan. My pan will be sprayed, and we're gonna be putting our mix into the pan. My oven is preheated, 325 for 90 minutes. Y'all, when I tell y'all, this look, this how creamy you want your your um your base. Look at that. Look how creamy that is. And when I tell y'all, you can taste that nutmeg, the eggnog, the cinnamon. Oh, this is going to be so amazing. And I'm just scraping because I couldn't find my spatula. 
the big one. All right, let me get my pan. And this is an angel food pan. If anybody is curious of what an angel food pan look like, the one that comes out is big like this. This is an angel food pan. This is what we're about to spray with pan. All right, guys, pan, nice and buttered. Found my big spatula, and we are about to do what? This thing is so heavy. Ooh. Here we go. Around it goes. So silky and smooth. Don't worry about it. In the description below, the full recipe is going to be and description box below. Haven't sold pound cake since 2015, guys. No, 16? I think it's 16. I used to sell them before I officially was selling them in my little, um, on my online store. I was, I used to sell them to family and friends. So pound cakes are my thing. Love a good pound cake. Who don't? Air bubble tap. Shake and jiggle in the oven, 325, 90 minutes. Okay, so it's if my camera looks blurry because my son is in here frying onions, fried hot dogs. What you making, Angel? I fried and sauteed some onions. Sauteed some onions, fried mm -hmm. hot dogs, fried. some cinnamon toast mm -hmm. waffles, and eggs and cheese. That's his breakfast. Y'all, my pound cake is out. I like these little golden things when I used to make pound cakes. This is what I used to flip them on. I said, I'm making a video. Everybody want to eat. Why people want to eat when you're making a video? Oh, but okay. I'm going to let him go ahead and do him. So, what okay. I'm going to do, y'all, is that I'm going to flip. If you have a plate, you could do this on a plate, but... I want to flip my pound cake. Woo! Look at her. Oh, Look at her. Why does she look like that? She's so, oh, she's so soft and buttery. And I always mess her up. I am, oh my goodness. You can smell the eggnog. Yeah, that smells good. Oh my goodness, you can smell the eggnog. So what I'm going to do, because since she don't look pretty at the top, Andrew, yeah. Go give me that little, little circle thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to make her. We're going to flip her over. I got this. Y'all look at my egg no pound cake. Ain't she ugly? She ugly. But guess what? Yours ain't got to look ugly. But, oh, man. Angel said, Ma. Yeah, she good. We're going to make a glaze and put up on this. I'm going to use that um, eggnog. A little bit of that rum extract and vanilla. And we're going to go ahead and make a little, little glaze for this. All right, y'all, this cake gets warm. You know what I'm going to call this segment? Soulful Tea Ugly Pound Cakes. Guess what? They may be ugly. What somebody say? And Ruby Goldberg said something, I might be ugly. But thank God I'm free. They might be ugly sometimes. But thank God. Ooh, that tastes and flavor. Y'all, let's make this pound cake. Let's make the glaze, okay? Look at that, baby. I got some powder sugar. Not that much, not that much. But we making a glaze. That's all we're doing right here, right now. We're making a glaze. Okay, and to this glaze, we sit this wire whisk, to this wire whisk right here. I move stuff over to this glaze. I want to add some vanilla extract. Just a tiny bit. That's my, I'm about to add a half a teaspoon of each one. Yeah, that was the rum. <laughs> Look, I got the rum extract in the vanilla box and got the vanilla extract in the rum box. I think we need to change that for nobody else in here baked but me anyway. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to switch that up just in case somebody decide they want to do something. Try to bake. You know what I'm saying? It's going to call Silver Tea Ugly Pound Cake. <laughs> sometimes they come out pretty, sometimes they don't. 
but they taste good. And my son, Andrew, can't wait to eat it because he tastes was at the bottom of the pan, the one that got stuck. He said, oh, my goodness. I said, yeah, this thing is the bomb, y'all. Think about selling pound cakes again. I think about maybe got the eggnog at room temperature. Think about selling pound cakes again. It's a it's an eggnog glaze, not too much. I'm gonna put on this cake. Do a little at a time. You know, a little goes a long way when you're doing a glaze. It don't take much. I'm just get it wet. Yeah. See? It don't, it, see, look. It don't take much for egg for a glaze. Yeah, I call the sober tea good and cakes. <laughs> and I want a little bit thinner than that. Ugly pound cakes. But I got a couple of people that I'm doing care packages for. You guys see that on sober tea vlogs. That I'm mailing out some um stuff, special things to um baked goods. I got a couple people that I'm mailing. I gotta get my um red spatula. I want a little bit thin. See, do it just like this, and you see how thin you want it, the consistency that you wanted at. Ooh, that smells good. Y'all, I'm telling you. Y'all ready? I think I'm going to make a carrot. A carrot pound cake. Hot days. You know. My cake is nice and cool. Okay. Look at that. Let me get my spatula and we be ready to what? Glaze this pan. All right, y'all got my salsa. Let's go. Ooh, she's so soft. Y'all. I should use my little spatula, my white spatula to pick her up with. That's okay. I got this. I could use this. Look at that. Look at that. Moisture's in that cake. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty. Look at the pretty color. Look how soft it is. Mm. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. What part? Should I do the glaze or non-glaze? Or... Let's do the glaze. Look how soft she is. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my gosh. The eggnog, the rum, the nutmeg, the cinnamon. This is an eggnog pound cake for the ages. Mmm. Oh, this thing is good. I'm telling y'all. Mmm. Oh, stop some mine. Please come get this cake. Did you do that? Chill. Please, somebody come get this cake because I can't do it. Anybody in the room? Julia, if you watch this video, please go get my five slices of cake. Jim, I'm going to get you on time to this cake because this, this can't be in my house. This is on everything that I love. Oh, Tanya, call me, boo. I need, you know, what you do. I'm going to get somebody some gifts. I can't find your phone number. Oh. Y'all playing. Y'all playing with me. Antoine, my brother, please come and get this pound cake. Y'all playing with me. Oh. Stop playing with me, dude. Y'all gonna get that. Mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna come get this. Look at this baby. Look at this. Oh, goodness. 
like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. And make you an eggnog pound cake sofa. See what? It's going to be in the description below. I'm calling out family members. Come and get this cake. This is why I can't make cake. I can't have cake in my house. Go look up Soul T Vlogs. Go look at New Life Journey. Go look at uh, Sisterhood. We got a video coming soon. Y'all, I'm with some of y'all that's in the area. I'll have y'all come get this cake. Oh, call my cousin Tracy. Yes, that's who I'm calling. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs> mm -hmm.